Okay, we were going to put the nose in. I was going to get a different pencil, which I have. Um, it's kind of at a triangle, okay? So we're going to just have, kind of do the same thing, but a little bit more of a of a triangle here. And um, I don't think we'll give it any eyes. I think it'll be just a little easier that way. All right, so let's go across here and let's just put a little notch there. All right. We're going to go down here. We're going to put another little notch. All right. Okay, and we're going to bring it down to the hairline on the other side. Where that straw is going to be. Like I said, I have no idea what it will look like. Hopefully it will look like a scarecrow when we get done. Alright, now we're going to go, and I was looking at a few of the hats, and I'm going to do a video later on how to search things on Google for those of you that like to try to create your own design. Some people are not good at it at all and always follow somebody else's, and that's what we're here for. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let me do one thing here. Hang on just a second. Let me take a look at what we got here. Yeah. There's so many variations of the scarecrow. All different colors. You know, there's quite a bit of different things you could do with it. We're going to give it a kind of a square nose all right the mouth isn't going to be a whole lot at all but um the hat i noticed the hat is pretty well a pointed hat like a witch's hat uh, that's how a lot of them have them portrayed as with a little bit of a, a brim around it so we're going to come down here we're going to just bring this down a little bit start shaping this head a little bit more Right here, of course, we're going to cut that out a little bit, just like so. And over here, same thing. We're going to go straight down. See the angle that I have there? And straight underneath the hairline. All right. And this here, this is going to be kind of scooped out a little bit now. We're not going to go straight across. We're just going to start scooping this out make this a little bit of a brim here with the hat um, I saw a bunch of different things I could do but all right so We're going to bring this back a little bit because that's not seem right to me yet. So we're going to bring this back quite a ways yet. Alright. Just kind of scoop it out. And still keep break, making it into a point, but you're actually rounding it. We're going to round the top off a little bit. Just a little bit there. We'll f mess with the hat a little bit more a little bit later because I want to try to get a little bit more rounded. We have the nose in place. Okay. But the nose is kind of, this is the bottom part of the nose, but that's not how it's going to be. We're going to put the center of the nose up a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the center of the nose and I'm going to kind of make it into a, a pyramid cut. Um, the whole nose itself. All right, so let's go this way. All right, you get the idea there. What I'm doing, since it's not a real person, okay. And so we got we're gonna bring this down just a little bit more. All right, just like so. There we go. All right, we're gonna bring this down. Cut this out. There's a lot more to cut out here yet, folks. 
There we go. All right. So we have the hairline. Uh, we have the hat where we want it to go. We're sticking out underneath. We're going to bring this down and around a little bit more. This down and around a little bit more. We're going to really round this hat up a little bit better than what we have it. And we're going to definitely make a little bit of a brim here. We're going to work on that diligently here. We're going to bring this back a little bit more. All right, now, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to undercut the hair yet. All right. Now, of course, we're going to have arms on him and we're going to have it look like there's um, straw coming out of his, where his hand should be and stuff. So we've got to work on that a little bit and figure out how all this is going to play together here. I'll work out. I'm just undercutting this. All right. And this here. All right. Now, I'm going to let the face go for a minute while I'm going to figure out how the bottom part of the body is going to be. Uh, usually a scarecrow is usually with his arms out, but, you know, we're not making it into a typical scarecrow. Um, because we're working from a block, we're going to try to do something a little bit different. And of course, this is all going to come in much, much further. This is going to come down a little further. I feel a lot of times if you don't get the head and the face right, it's not going to look right. All right, so uh, that's a lot of it right there. And we're going to make this hat a little wavy uh, as well. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, we can adjust the size of his head and his hat and such as we go along. Right. Really doesn't have much of a chin or anything, so we're not going to do that to him. Alright. And... Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out where and if he's going to be holding anything or not. A lot of the scarecrows uh, do not carry anything. Some of them carry pumpkins. Um, but we'll see what we come up with here. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to stop for now. And we'll be back uh, very soon.